What's up guys, it's TechnoViking23 coming to you today with kind of a general gaming video. I just wanted to kind of rant and ramble a little bit about gaming and get a few things off my chest and make a couple announcements about the uh, direction I'm going to be taking my gaming. Now on the screen right now, you'll see a little bit of a chart. This is something I made up uh, the other night on Microsoft Excel just to kind of give an example of the actual cost of having a console. I thought it would be an interesting thing to look at. And this is over a period since 2014 when I upgraded to the current generation. Uh, I haven't really bought that many games, but you can still see how much uh, the cost has been to have two consoles. And if you want, you can pause this to see the chart more closely. Uh, but overall, I've spent almost $2,000 on both consoles between just buying the consoles, the games, the controller, and the online services that go with each, whether it's Xbox Live or PlayStation Network. Uh, it was kind of eye-opening when I sat down and did that the other night, because th when I thought about it, I said, you know, I really haven't bought that many games with this current generation, so kind of crazy how expensive it was. And the reason I kind of did this was recently, of course, we've had the announcement that there's going to be the Xbox, uh, the Scorpio, and then the PlayStation Pro, and these consoles are coming out only a couple of years after the, you know, current generation has launched. And I understand they're going to go to 4K and they're going to bump the specs up and all this bull crap. But I just see, I think it's kind of ridiculous. Um, I remember the days when you would buy a console and it would last for six or seven years. And you could enjoy games on it for quite some time. And companies actually put some effort into making uh, decent games instead of trying to do what uh, happens most of the time in gaming today. So... Uh, quite honestly, this announcement, and uh, there was another thing, um, you know, I was kind of excited for Rise of Iron with Destiny, and then this recent patch that Bungie did, where they took away the Iron Banner bounties, and just basically did a whole bunch of shady crap, uh, which I did a video on. Uh, it really has kind of made me kind of depressed just about console gaming in general. And... I am probably going to start transitioning over to being more of a PC gamer. Now, I'm not going to be PC Master Race and, you know, talk down to you if you still play console. I, I hate that nonsense. Um, I've always been a gamer. I've played games on PC. I've played games on console. I've played games on portable. Uh, you know, I just love playing games. And if you enjoy games on whatever console you enjoy that on, that's great. I'm, you know, no one should hold that against you. Um, you know, unless you're one of those fanboys who thinks that consoles are just, you know, much better than PC because... Anyone with an ounce of common sense knows that consoles really can't stand up to even, like, your most basic gaming PC these days. Um, and that's not trying to be arrogant or PC Master Race. That's just the truth, really. Um, but anyway, so I think console gaming itself is probably going to start dying out a little bit. Uh, now, it may take a couple years, but... I think gamers like myself who are a little bit older who kind of have to decide where they spend their money are going to stop putting up with this nonsense from Sony and Microsoft. This whole, oh, we're going to start putting consoles out every two to three years um, and they're going to be three or $400. I just don't see anyone. I'm not going to support that. I'm definitely not going to support that. And I don't really see too many more people my age in terms of gamers uh, supporting it either. It's kind of funny they announced the PlayStation Pro and they've already said, you know, the PlayStation 5 or whatever is going to be coming out like a year or two afterwards. And it's just, it's, it's crazy. It's ridiculous. And, you know, with the gaming practices going on these days where you basically pay $60 and you get a half-assed, like 50% finished game, and then they want you to buy the rest of it through DLC... Uh, so by the time you actually get a full game now, you're paying almost $100 for it usually, and it's just, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Um, I have went and looked at the pros and cons. Uh, the pricing is a huge thing, and when you look at PC, it's just, it's so much cheaper. Um, you know, I, I look at how much I've spent in the last two and a half years or so on consoles, and I could have easily built a ridiculously awesome gaming machine that would last me like five or six years at least. Uh, versus what I've, you know, it's still probably spent only about half of what I've spent on, you know, trying to maintain uh, gaming on these two consoles, which is, it's insane. Uh, but so that's the thing. I have kind of started to put together a build. I'll share that later on. I'll do a separate video. I've already started to order some of the stuff for it. I'm going to put it together myself. Uh, if you are interested in doing a gaming PC, you actually can build it a lot cheaper yourself. Uh, there are sites out there where you can put it together and have them put it together for you or buy a pre-build, but quite honestly, looking at some of the pricing on that, they actually do gouge you a little bit on some of the components, especially the graphics cards, so 
I um, just decided I'm going to get one and just put it together myself and probably do some videos about it. And um, just going to kind of make the switch because quite honestly, uh, it's a lot cheaper with the, with the PC. You know, you just, um, I've already done the cost analysis on it and I can probably build a pretty solid machine for under $1,000 that's going to last me at least six or seven years probably with just with the graphics card alone um you know you spend two or three hundred dollars on, on a decent graphics card now and it's got better hardware than any console coming out in the next five or six years could possibly have really so it just makes more sense to me now now i know there's going to be exclusives for console games and that's another reason i think they're going to slowly die out because people are just going to get sick of that garbage and stop putting up with it um but there's really nothing out on console that excites me anymore. And I think, you know, I was thinking about Mass Effect Andromeda. Yeah, that's by the next game I'm looking forward to, but it's going to be on PC. Um, so for me, I just don't have many reasons to stay on console anymore. I was going to play Rise of Iron with Destiny, but Bungie's kind of shut that down for me with the way they acted with this latest patch and how they just took people's bounties away and didn't even acknowledge it and came out after the fact. And were like, oh, you know, we just, we just took it away. Sorry. Um, actually, they didn't even say sorry. They were just kind of jerks about it, but... Um, you know, the, the one game I do play somewhat on the console, I just realized how shady and crappy Bungie and Activision are as a company, and that's just going around a lot in console gaming these days, and I'm just no longer going to support it, uh, and I hopefully more people are going to turn that direction, and like I said, you know, if they're going to start putting out these consoles every two to three years instead of, you know, six or seven years, uh, it just shows me that they're really greedy. Now, if there's people, they must think there's people that are going to support this. I really hope that there aren't. Uh, but I know for some of the younger gamers whose parents just buy them pretty much whatever they want, they'll probably still buy the new consoles and you know, all the other nonsense. But I just don't see too many people supporting this. And I think, like I said, I think console gaming is slowly going to, um, to go by the wayside. Uh, once people start seeing the cost of it, how much you actually have to spend um, to maintain um, your console gaming lifestyle. I just don't see that it's worth it anymore. So like I said, I'll be switching to PC. I'll still be playing some console games. I am going to, um, I'm not going to throw them out or anything or trade them in or anything because they're, they're probably not worth much with the new ones coming out soon. Uh, but I still will play some games on them. Uh, I still need to finish up Dragon Age Inquisition on uh, PlayStation 4. But for the most part, I am uh, going to be switching over to the PC. It's probably going to be in the next two to three weeks here. I've already started ordering some of my, my parts. I just have to wait for them to get here and then put it together. And then I'll probably start uh, doing some PC gameplay on the channel. I've got a lot of uh, games already on PC, and I plan on picking up a few more. Uh, but mainly, I actually, I just recently went back into World of Warcraft, which I haven't played in about five years, so... It's going to be interesting to see how that game works now. You know, I went ahead and just spent some money on a three-month subscription. I'm going to try it out and see what the new expansion is like. Because uh, I'd like to find a game again where I can play all the time. That's part of my problem with the current generation of consoles is nothing can keep my interest. And really, there haven't been any games. That's the other problem I have is, you know, this new generation has been out for almost, you know, what, three years now, I think. And quite honestly, there's just, there's no games. Um, you know, there was The Witcher 3, which I think was really good, but... There just hasn't been anything, like, if you go back to PlayStation 3, the Xbox 360, I mean, there were just all kinds of good games that were coming out every year. And now it's kind of like, you just like I said, you get this watered-down, half ass crap, and then you have to spend more money on the DLC. Um, and these developers who, you know, they tear out parts of the game to, uh, you know, make you purchase it later. It just seems kind of ridiculous. But all those, con all those things have kind of combined to make me kind of depressed about console gaming, and it just finally made me sit down and kind of weigh the options and the pros and cons and made the decision to transition to PC that much easier. So, anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to continue to support consoles, if you're going to continue to spend, you know, three or $400 every two to three years to upgrade to the latest and greatest, or if you're getting tired of it, uh, like me, if you're getting sick of it and you may switch over to something else. Always love to hear your comments. Anyways, guys, I hope you're having a great day. Thanks, for, as always, for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Final push and victory is yours.
shown your might, Guardian. Well fought.